and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. And today, we got a pretty banger day content wise. We have multiple, multiple NFL Honor players in packs. So, from yesterday, we still have obviously Bosa, Thomas, Kyler Murray, and Calais Campbell will be coming out of packs, I believe, in approximately a few minutes as it says clock is ticking on them. Now, guys, today, we are getting Lamar Jackson. At least that's what they told us. We did get the tweeted out picture of MVP Lamar Jackson. Mutt has confirmed Christian McCaffrey, as well as. The other guy, which was Stephon Gilmore. So it's looking like three. And we're still missing Ryan Tannehill. I don't know if they'll give a Ryan Tannehill comeback player of the year the last card. And they won't give it today. So we most likely get all four today. Although I don't think that's what... Alright guys, we also have today's Series 5 info. All Series 5 info has been revealed. All max mutt levels. And a ton more guys. But I have to separate into two videos. Because I do not want to give you guys a 30 minute video. So we're going to keep this nice and quick. Got to go over the NFL Honors players. As you guys are about to hear. And then obviously, all the Series 5 info. All the information I have for you guys. And even some hints at the next video I'll be doing later on today guys. But let's get into it. It could happen, but that is what might happen. So we're going to see in just a second, guys. But I'm super excited. I've never done it like this. This is a very weird format. They're doing it where they give us the MVP before they're even before they're done with everything, as well as doing it all in the same day. This is an overall just very weird thing that they're doing in terms of how they're releasing the content, guys. But before we get into the video, guys, we did hit 19,000 yesterday. You guys are absolutely crazy. We gained like 300 subscribers yesterday. If you guys can keep the same energy up, we will hit 20K in about four days. Like, we went from 18,900 yesterday to, like, 19,200 today. So, guys, keep the same energy going. If you're watching this video right now, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get 400 likes in this video, guys? These likes and all the support you guys give are what helps the channel grow. Now, remember, we are about 800 subs from 20K, guys. That's a huge milestone. Everyone watching, start running the numbers up. Let's get it going. And comment down below what you think of all the NFL Honors cards we're about to be seeing. Now, just so you guys do know, they are in game, so they have been confirmed as far as some of them, like Lamar Jackson, Christian McCaffrey. Christian McCaffrey is already in the game. Not to purchase just yet, but he is. You can see that the power-ups. Quick little reminder, guys. If you ever want to know if a card's out yet, even before 1030, just check the power-up. As you can see, you can see him right here. So now I'm going to head on over to the other screen. I'm going to show you guys all the Lamar Jackson stats. I could show you there, but it doesn't show you just about everything that you're going to see. I want to show you the card art. I want to show you guys everything else. But it is pretty cool that we're able to see a lot of the stuff already. And I'm super excited for Christian McCaffrey, although I'm kind of, I'm kind of scared of his speed. I feel like they always screw up his speed. And I'm excited for Gilmore and Lamar. And if they do end up dropping Tannehill today, even better, guys. And let's head over to that Lamar screenshot and show you guys all the stats for him. Let's start with the NFL Honors players so that we can get those out of the way before we get into all the Series 5 info. So we have Christian McCaffrey, Fantasy Player of the Year, guys. I did have him in Fantasy. I did draft him with the fourth overall pick this year. Maybe the third. Super hyped about that. Was a monster for me. He's 5'11", 93 speed, 95 excel, 93 agility, 99 agility, 91 carrying, 87 catching, 95 elusiveness, 57 trucking, 87 break tackle. Awesome card. Wish the speed was a little bit higher. Max style camera, you could probably get him second 95-96. Bow's still going to be better, but that 99 agility does mean he will get human joystick. So it all really depends on how you guys can acquire him and what his price goes for. Next, we got Stephon Gilmore, 97 overall cornerback for the New England Patriots. Had an awesome year, a part of it in a very elite defense, especially for fantasy-wise. Six foot one, 92 speed, 94 acceleration, 95 agility, 92 jumping, 96 play rec, 99 man coverage, 92 zone coverage, 97 press. So kind of disappointing. Press man zone, all going to come close to 99s when everything's said and done and powered up. Same with agility and play rec, but the speed's a little bit too low. In my opinion, I'm going to be skipping on Stephon Gilmore. He's awesome and all, but the new Ultimate Legends that will be coming, by the way, which they did announce... Ultimate Legends is confirmed coming Saturday. So Ultimate Legends and all that other stuff, I'd rather have those guys. A little more end game because their speed will be a lot higher than that. As well as some other news I have to break to you guys as we get into this video. This Lamar Jackson card is looking super, super solid. 98 overall Lamar Jackson. Looking fly in his picture, not going to lie. Awesome looking suit. He's got the chain hanging from the neck. I really like the undershirt he's got going on there. But besides the outfit, besides all of that, he's got his usual archetype. Obviously none of that does change as the year goes on because that is his archetype for the year. I'm happy that we're getting a ton of content today, guys. I really am. I would never get this much in one day, but let's continue going on. He can be powered up, as you guys know. So hopefully you guys already had him powered up because he's probably going to be pretty expensive as of now. Um, my, my personal advice, do not power him up today if you don't have every piece. I've had every piece. I'm deciding between him or my Patrick Mahomes. It really comes down to what I hear today. Kind of going to go over everything. I do want Lamar, but economically it'll probably make more sense for me to use my free Mahomes I got for now until Lamar comes down in price. But I really got to check everything out. But he's six foot two, great height for a quarterback. 95 speed guys so powered up and chemmed up he's going to be able to get his speed 
So you could probably get it to 99. If you have Job Madden, Athleticism, and Sprinter, you will get him up to a 99. He has 92 throw power. So again, chemmed up will go deep, powered up. You can get that's like a 96 with Job Madden passing. 95 throw short, chemmed up, powered up, can probably get that's like a 97, 98. Throw mid's only going to be like a 91, 92, powered up. Throw accuracy deep, 91. Chemmed up, powered up, with go deep, and Job Madden passing. Get that's like almost a 95, which is a super solid go deep, or throw accuracy deep, I should say. Now, throw under pressure is important. He will get 99 throw under pressure, which is a crazy good stat, which means that even when you're running anything, well, Dashing Deadeye is going to make up for that anyways, but if he's going to get sacked, he could probably throw a lot of like dimes or dots, you want to call it, whatever you call it. Even when he's about to get sacked, he can throw under pressure very well, which is great, especially when you have a running quarterback because that typically means you're making pressure throws. 97 throw on the run, again, that's going to be 99, but the thing is, he can get Dashing Deadeye, which means more than likely you're not really going to have to worry about the throw on the run stat too much because more than likely if you're on the run it's going to be a dot anyways and then play action who really wants runs play actions anymore but if you guys do remember that it's a pretty good stat now powered up kept going to be one of the best quarterbacks in madden probably the best quarterback as of now in my opinion it comes down to vic mahomes or lamar jackson but guys it's better for him let's get on over to their other stuff and talk about the other stuff in the game series five is coming and by the way ron Tannehill will not be coming for like a few weeks i think they said so don't worry, he's coming, but not yet. So Series 5 is coming tomorrow, as you guys do know. So first screenshot, we got all the max Mutt level rewards. Level 81, we will be getting a 90 overall Legend Fantasy Pack, which includes guys, as you guys expect, Terrell Owens and Lawrence Taylor. Oh, it might actually be Jerry Rice. My bad. But Fantasy right here, we get the 88 Fantasy Pack, which just include 88 overall players. You guys can see right here. They have Charles Tillman, Dwight Freeney, Martin Hanks, Wayne Krebit, uh, Corey Schlesinger, Clinton Portis, Antoine Randall, and so on and so forth. These are themed diamond players. Now, the reason these are themed diamond players, guys, is because there's themed diamond 2.0 promo coming out into the game, I believe, tomorrow. I will be making a separate video on the whole themed diamond promo at about 1.32 o'clock because I couldn't put them all together. It would have been way too long of a video. But they released all 32 players and everything. I will be making a vid, don't worry. But it's looking super awesome, super awesome. Might even look cooler than this, guys. But we'll get to all that. Now, for level 81, the premium pack, you do get a choice of a 90 overall full legend, such as John Elway, Derek Brooks, Jerry Rice, Reggie White, so on and so forth. And 86 overall platinum Julio Jones. Typically, the platinum player is always the best choice, but we're going to have to, uh, you know, look at that when the time comes. Level 82, we get a full legend fantasy pack, guys. That is super awesome. You should, I would recommend you save that until Saturday to see maybe you can pull an ultimate legend out of it. That'd be my recommendation. Or even open it tomorrow. Maybe you can pull an NFL honors out of it. Level 83 is just new level challenges. You know, that, that one level in between that you kind of just don't get anything for. Next level, we got a 45,000 coin quick sell. Solid. Free coins right there. That's almost half 100K. Level 85, we get a 96 overall power pass. And you guys know what that means, right? We thought we'd get the 96 power pass as the full power pass of the series. No, we get that at the halfway mark, which means we can use that power pass to get quite a few of some of the greatest players in Madden, which also means we should be getting another power pass towards the end. 86, we do get a 91 overall Legend Fantasy Pack, which includes, as you can see there, like Ed Reed. I believe that is Shannon Sharp. And then we get an 89 overall Fantasy Pack, which is the coin training pack as per usual. So far, pretty cool. Now, a few notes I had, guys. There's a Pat Tobin upgrade. Trophies will be cut in half. Don't forget that. And I'll go over the rest as we keep going. So let's go on over. Next, let's see. We got the 89 Fantasy Pack. As you guys know, these are just themed diamond players because I told you this theme diamonds 2.0 coming. Next, we got level 86 premium pack, which is pretty decent in itself. But just 91 overall players. Again, you're probably better off taking the platinum player. But as we get higher in overall, maybe it will be end up being more worth it. Let's keep moving on down the list. Screenshot. Right here, we got 87. We get another Legend Fantasy Pack. Again, guys, maybe you should all save these for tomorrow. And uh, you can open them for NFL Honors, or you can save them for Saturday for Ultimate Legends. I think maybe NFL Honors might be the better choice because they are LTDs, and Ultimate Legends are probably going to be a better chance out of an actual Ultimate Legend Fantasy Pack. Level 89. By the way, level 88, I believe, or level 87, 88. I think that was a culmination of Tory Holt upgrades and um, potentially level challenges, which is probably why I didn't take a picture of it. Level 89 is another 45,000 coin quick sell. So, so far, guys, you have about three to 400k worth of coins with uh, Legend Fantasy Packs, if you get good pulls out of those, quick sells, as well as the Platinum cards. Probably even more than that, guys. So, it's going to be a great time to make some coins here. Screenshot for the last level up of the level 90 grind. 97 overall power pass. You guys know what that means, right? That means you can now use this to get a free Christian McCaffrey or a free Stephon Gilmore or a free any of the NFL Honor players that are 97s. I'm super excited for that. This means you can probably use them on Ultimate Legends as well. So definitely going to hold on to that until I see what comes out. I'm kind of thinking I might use it on an NFL Honors player. But if there's good Ultimate Legends, I might just have to wait for that. Now, moving on to the next shot. We got Tory Holt stats. So he will get up to a 97 overall. He's going to have 95 speed. 
91 jumping, 95 catching, 89 catching traffic, 90 spec catch, 94 short route running, 95 medium route running, and 93 deep route running. Powered up chem, or chemed up, I should say, and everything. He probably gets like a 98, 99 in the right scheme. Going to be a super solid card. Going to have great speed. Going to be one of the better receivers in Madden. Going to keep using him because he is free for me, and I don't like to really waste coins like that and have to upgrade him somewhere else. Some of the Redux players, we got Mark Andrews, Buda Baker, Jared Goff, Derrick Henry, Preston Smith, Daniel Jones, Khalil Mack, Cordell Stewart. As you guys know, they're just old LTDs. Richard Sherman, Sean Taylor, Chris McAllister, Joe Runyon, Jason Seahorn, Luke Keekley, Antonio Gates, and Eli Manning. Next, we got, let's see, these are just the power-ups again. Same, uh, we got Buda Baker, Braden Smith, Marquise Brown, Brandon Carr, Tremaine Edmonds, Jared Goff, Kenny Galladay, Dante Jackson, Ryan Jensen, Jimmy Garoppolo. Sorry if I'm going through this a little fast. We have a lot to go over and then a second video to make. Daniel Jones gets an upgrade, Baker Mayfield, Ben Ardrick, and Kinney, Terry McLaurin, Dar um, Darren Waller, Preston Smith, Fred Warner, Deshaun Jackson, Devin White, Vita Bay halfback, remember that, and Marshawn Lynch halfback. And beyond that, let's see what else we got. So this is right here, the Series 5 Competitive Master. We got Joey Bosa as the Series 5 Master. I have him powered up from his Harvest card, so if you guys do have that, he's probably worthwhile for you guys. I have his stats in just a second, but they did accidentally leak that. I don't think they were supposed to tell us, but they accidentally showed it, and then they ended up just showing it anyways. So here we go, Joey Bosa, 97 overall. Got yeah, 84 speed, 90 excel, 90 strike, 85 tackle, 97 play rec, 86 block shed, 95 power move, and 99 finesse move. Powered up, chemmed up, going to be an awesome left end. His block shed's going to be a little bit low. If you can get that to a 90, he'll be pretty competitive, competitive to be used. If you haven't powered up already, you're probably better off doing it like I do. But I have to wait and see to see what comes out because we have too much content coming out for me to just limit myself to this. And for the final screenshot, we got Pat Tillman, 97 overall. He gets a slight upgrade, not much. 92 speed, 89 excel, 97 tackle, 97 play rec, 97 pursuit. 78 man, 90 zone, and 95 hit power. Chemmed up and everything. He's going to be pretty awesome. Although, there definitely is quite a few more things that I wish we had gotten with Pat Tillman. I do want to mention in here, guys, Eric Dickerson was nerfed. He now will no longer have freight train until he loses it. It will be freight train for five plays. It's not just until you get tackled behind. So, if you do have Eric Dickerson and you lose it and you're upset that you took him that, you can exchange him for any NFL Centennial player of your choice. Just remember that. And guys, Theme Diamond 2.0 will be coming out tomorrow. I will be making a separate video on that. There will be a new journey, a new journey completion token, and a bunch of other stuff, guys. But I'll probably hold that for the other video. Journey I mentioned here because that is one of the things. So, I will be having a video later for you guys going over what to do before Series 5 comes out because there's plenty of content to go over. But I'll save that all for later. That's pretty much about it, guys. Heading over to the Madden screens, close up this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you are new to the channel, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, boys. Turn on that notification bell. Come join the family, guys. We're super close to 20k. We are about 800 subscribers away. If you're watching this, make sure to spam that sub button, boys. You guys went wild with it yesterday. If we grow at that rate, we'll hit it in no time, guys. This is insane content. Let's get this video to 500 likes. Run that like button. Spam down in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think of all these new players. And that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you in the next video. Peace.